Hey, this is Matt with Funtime RV, and today I want to talk to you about the new 2010 Rockwood Signature Ultralight. A lot of you have seen our videos on the uh, on the on the other Rockwoods that we had. The new models just came in, and I wanted to get get a chance to get some of them on the internet and show them to you. Um, one thing you'll notice about the outside, they've got a new redesigned front cap. They still have the automotive seal around the windows. They're one of the few manufacturers that you're going to see uh, put a window in the front because usually you have leaks around the window, but they put an automotive seal up there, just like the one in your car, so it's not going to leak. Um, on the front, you'll notice it comes standard with the electric tongue jack with the light on the front, so if you're hooking up at night, you can do that. Now, one really nice feature that they've got, electric stabilizer jacks, all four corners. So instead of having to crank those down or use a cordless drill like we used to tell people to do, you now just push a button and they go down. So no cranking on the front, no cranking here. It's getting a lot easier on a travel trailer than what it used to. Um, electric awning is going to be standard, so just push button there. In fact, we may be making this too easy for people. There's not enough work involved in it anymore. But I don't hear anybody complaining, so that's a good thing. Um, you got your outside speakers, so you can run your awning out, turn the radio on, and listen to the, uh, listen to the stereo out here. And nice big scare light over here, so you can see what you're doing at night. Uh, this one is already plumbed for a outside grill and the grill just hangs right on here so it makes it real easy if you want to cook out here you got your nice big grab assist handles on the front and the back door and then you have your electric jacks here on the back as well the model I'm going to show you today is an 8314 BSS it's a uh, 31 foot about 34 foot 35 foot tip to tip um, it's got the rear living room with the two chairs in the back and the, the bedroom slide in the front. And I think you're going to like the things that Rockwood's doing on the new 2010 model. The thing you're going to notice immediately is the upgraded interior on the Rockwoods. Uh, they've gone with a darker wood and in the kitchen area they've got more of a two-tone. It's, it's more of a, a faded wood. Um, and then look at the linoleum. Uh, it's a hard wood look. We have some uh, with the all dark wood all the way around that have a like a hand laid tile look and you really got to get close folks I mean you have to see it in person the first time I saw it I reached down there to feel the grooves between it because it was so realistic looking it's more of a residential feel more of an upgraded interior um, notice around the back here you got a couple bar stools to sit at um, you've got the lazy boy leather recliners and let me tell you there is not a better recliner in the whole RV industry than the lazy boy uh, Forest River is now using it I think uh, pretty much top to bottom on most of their coaches that, that have recliners. This is going to be what they go to. It's comfortable. Um, it's got the name brand. So notice you've got reading lights, the little bullet reading lights. So if you want to read, you can aim it down here and read your book. Um, you've got storage all the way across the top. You've got windows all the way across the back. So if you've got a nice view, which most of your parks hopefully are going to have a good view, then you can raise the shades and look out the window. It does have the day-night shades. You're not going to have mini blinds all the way around, but the day-night shades, which are the upgrade. You've got the air mattress high to bed. Now this unit we ordered with the table and chairs instead of the booth. Um, so it's a little more comfortable sitting at. You do lose a little bit of a sleeping space and some storage, but you do have the flexibility of, of pulling a chair out. And just sitting out here, you know, if you got people sitting around talking, well, you've got a little more flexibility there. A lot of cabinets over here in the kitchen, just like you have at home. Now, one thing that they're doing in Rockwood uh, this year, over by the door, you'll notice you have a control panel. So, all your controls, all your buttons are going to be right here. Now, this does have the tank heaters, like I've shown you on things before. You can flip that switch right there, and if the temperature drops below, I think it's 36 degrees, it'll come on and it'll start heating your tank so you can pretty much go all weather with it. But everything, all your lights, all your slide out buttons, everything you have, monitor panel and all, is right here. You don't have to be going around the coach, oh, where's the button for this, where's the button for this? They've put it conveniently right there in one place so you know where to go whenever you need to do that. Now, as before, Rockwood's leading the way um, with the entertainment package. You've got AM, FM, stereo, CD player, DVD player, satellite radio, weather band radio, all built into one. You do have surround sound. They've got the flush mount speakers this year, which is an upgrade. They were hanging down a little bit further uh, in years past, but now they've, they've put them flush mount. And then you've also still got the, the jack for your iPod. So if you have an iPod or an iPhone or some kind of uh, MP3 player, you can pop it in there and play it through your surround sound. 
but a lot of nice touches. I mean, instead of having the old metal return, look at this. It's a nice wooden return on there. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you a, uh, a high-end feel uh, without raising the price too terribly much and without putting a lot of weight on there. You're still going to be pretty low on the, uh, on the weight scale. I think this one's about 6,500 pounds, 6,600 pounds. And remember, that's a two-slide, a living room slide and bedroom slide. Nice big pantry here. You got your uh, wood front on the refrigerator for a nice little look. And look at this. Real doors. No more accordion doors, nothing like that. You've got real doors into the bathroom. You also have a real door into the bedroom. So that you can close it off. Hang your bathrobes, hang clothes, anything in there you want to. Lots of good storage. And you've got the big stand-up shower with the tub surround. And for those tall guys like me, you've still got room to take a shower because they give you the skylight in the right spot. Um, plenty of room to turn around. I mean, you don't feel like you're crowded in here at all. So you can, uh, you can get clean and not feel like you're cramped in here. All right, notice the deep sink. And you've got lights, a well-lit mirror, and plenty of room around the countertop. I mean, that's what people usually complain about is there's no room on the countertop to set your toothbrush down. You've even got a little toothbrush holder there, but also to put your shaver, uh, women put their makeup, that kind of stuff. And if you need a place to put your towels, look at that, plenty of room. So you should have plenty of room to put all your stuff whenever you go out. Now we're up in the bedroom on this one. Uh, this is the bedroom slide model. Now, look at this. This is a front bedroom model, and you do have the bedroom slide on it. So remember, this is a super lightweight with a bedroom slide. Um, they've upgraded the mattress for Forest River products. It's got a Serta mattress on it. I mean, when's the last time you ever had a lightweight with actually a comfortable mattress? And it is. It's a good mattress on there. So you've got that. You've got storage underneath. They give you the handle. I'm raising it up. Normally, you would just use these to go in there, but I wanted to show you how it was set up. You have storage down here and there's a door from the outside and then you've got your three drawers from the inside. So really you probably wouldn't have to raise this too terribly often. You could just use the drawers on the end. But I want to show you this because they don't waste anything. And also notice aluminum framework all the way around. They try to give you, when they're building something, they try to do it in aluminum so it's going to last longer. Notice you have the bullet reading lights. So that you can read your book at night. Also notice over here in the corner, this is conveniently located. Uh, it's got a little plug here. So if you want to put a CPAP machine, those of you who have the breathing treatments, you can, you can conveniently put that right next to the bed. Um, you got a little bit of space up here. And notice lots of space in the wardrobe and a couple extra drawers down there. They don't waste any space at all. There's your grill. It actually goes on the outside there. And then you do have a spot for a TV, so you can either put a TV up here, or put a TV down there, um, either place. And you have an extra door here, so that if you've got company staying in there in the in the back sleeping on the couch, I'm showing you the Rockwood Signature door. Ultralight uh, 8314 SS by Forest River. Uh, Forest River is the second largest RV manufacturer in the world. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett came in and bought the company a few years ago. So with all the turmoil that's been, uh, that's been happening in the RV industry the last couple of years, these are the guys that are not going to go through that. Um, it's a debt-free company. They're in good position to, uh, to really improve and grow over the next couple of years. So you're going to be seeing this, a lot of improvements in the products that they carry. And the Rockwood is just the tip of the iceberg. We've got this floor plan. We've got some bunk houses. Uh, we've got a lot of the new fifth wheels that have come in. So I uh, definitely want to get on our website and take a look at them. If you can come by and take a look in person, uh, you always get a better feel for it. You know, sitting in the seat and seeing if that'll be the one for you. But if you have any questions, as always, my email address is matt, M-A-T-T, at funtimerv.com. Or uh, you can call us, 817-517-2200, uh, and, uh, and just ask for Matt or ask for any of the other salesmen, and we'll be able to help you and uh, try to find that RV that's right for you.